All right, hey there, Pirate Monkey Crew, and welcome to this part of the High Tabletop series. Today we are going to be covering skin tones. So we're doing the skin tones a little bit different here today. Uh, just like with all the previous videos, we're going to be starting out in a bit of a desaturated mode, uh, and then you know, kind of working the highlights up and ending with just a touch of saturation here. So the main things, though, that I am really focused on, uh, at least initially, is making sure that my values are set properly, uh, meaning those those highlights and shadows and kind of making sure that we're we're getting them somewhat smooth. Uh, and obviously here we're using a heavy glazing, you know, light layering technique so that we keep those highlights from the priming somewhat intact. And so what I'm doing here really quickly is I'm just placing a base coat of this kind of cherry brown color, uh, just so that we get a base coat of this over the hair. And I was working it a little bit too thin there, so I increased the thickness and we were just covering a little bit better now. This is nice too, because uh, essentially what happens is if we leave those bright areas of the hair, it can kind of mess with our understanding of how bright or how dark things are. Uh, and it, it's one of those things, you know, I'm always going on about color relativity and that's where it is very, very important. And just coming back in, another another uh, base coat here with the base flesh from the Vallejo Nocturna. We've mixed in a little bit of reddish flesh and black into the base flesh. Uh, this is helping us have a little bit of color as well as desaturating it just a touch so that we can start to work in some shadows. Uh, same thing, just mixing it down a little bit darker there and testing it on my thumb. Uh, as you can see, there it's just a little bit transparent. I would say this is just like a nice medium layer. And again, just trying to uh, paint out the shape of the head here. It, you know, obviously a head is a very cylindrical shape, and we're trying to make sure that that is represented well. We haven't changed the mix at all, but we're just doing a little bit more of the shadow color. And now we have mixed a touch of natural flesh to our base flesh, and we are starting to bring up these highlights just a little bit. And now we haven't added a ton just because we don't want to venture far from that base tone so that we can kind of reestablish that middle tone. And again, really just trying to make sure that the shape is correct. We're always, always, always considering the shape first. And here we mixed in just a little bit more of the natural flesh. So very carefully starting to add highlights to the nose and the brow and the cheekbone there and uh, as always the uh, the head. And uh, Janus here is kind of uh, lean as you can see there's a little bit of a, a concave place between his the top of his brow and his cheekbone and that's pretty normal for people who are a bit more lean and just continuing to work this highlight up. Mixing in a bit more of the natural flesh into this mix. 
and just continuing to work up again the the highlighting at this point is really nice just because essentially all we we have our highlight zones and our you know middle and shadow zones established so the act of working these highlights up gets easier and easier and faster and faster because those areas keep getting smaller and smaller essentially And at this point, we've actually added in just a touch of fairy flesh, uh, just so that we get a little bit of the, the warmth and the, the oranges and yellows that come from it. Uh, as we talked about with the other materials, we're just adding a touch of saturation here at the very, very end. And just feathering out that highlight right there just because it was a little bit too stark. Here I'm painting the beard just to, you know, get it a little bit darker as it should be. And this little curly cue of hair. Here we're glazing in a little bit of those color zones. Um, his, his skin tone on top is already a, a bit yellow, so we're glazing in some red on his cheeks just to kind of give it a little bit of, uh, a little bit of rosiness. And down there we're glazing just a touch of turquoise just to show a little bit of aftershave. Here at the end, really, uh, doing one more glaze obviously and you know really if I was to take this further what I would want to do is I would want to glaze just a bit of you know natural flesh with uh, mixed with base flesh about 50 50 um, really just to even things out just a little bit more and to help smooth things out you know we can always take things a step further but uh, I thought that would be a nice little you know how to paint a face for you guys so I really appreciate you watching this series I hope you guys have been enjoying it there's only one part left which is the how to paint the fur and then after that we're going to be moving on to our next series which is also Blackstone Fortress Base where we're going to be painting the navigator so we're going to be painting some awesome NMM gold and some purple cloth and uh, you know just really playing with some new materials so thank you guys as always for your support and we will see you next time bye